हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand classification of embedded systems. The embedded systems can be classified based on different criteria. First one is based on generations. So, first type of classification of embedded system is based on different generations. So, this classification is based on embedded processing system evolved from first version to where they are today. which means from first generation to the latest generations first one is first generation the first generation embedded systems are built with 8 bit microprocessor like 8085 and z80 and also they are built with 4 bit microcontrollers these first generations are simple in hardware and codes are developed in assembly language example of first generation are digital keypad or digital telephone keypads stepper motor control unit etc so first generation of embedded system were developed on 8 bit microprocessor like 8085 and z80 and also they were developed with 4 bit microcontrollers these first generations are simple in hardware and codes were written in assembly language example of first generation is digital telephone keypads and also stepper motor control unit which are designed using these microcontroller and microprocessor now let us understand the second generation these embedded systems were designed using 16 bit microprocessor and 8 bit or 16 bit microcontroller the instruction set are much more complex compared to previous generation and they are much more powerful some of the embedded system also consist of the operating system for their operations example of second generation are data acquisition system scada systems etc so second generation of embedded systems were designed using 16 bit microprocessor and 8 bit or 16 bit microcontrollers the instruction set in these generation were complex and much more powerful compared to previous generation some of the second generation embedded system uses operating system for its operation example of second generation is data acquisition system and scada systems now let us understand third generation the third generation was designed using 32 bit microprocessor and 16 bit microcontroller here application and domain specific processors or controllers were designed for example dsp which is digital signal processor and asic which is application specific integrated circuits etc the instruction set is again more complex and powerful compared to previous generation different processors were introduced in this generations like intel pentium motorola 68k etc and they gained attention in high performance embedded system requirements in the third generation dedicated real time systems and general purpose operating system were introduced and also these embedded systems were helpful in designing robotics media industrial processing control networking etc 
So, in third generation 32 bit microprocessor and 16 bit microcontroller were designed. Many application and domain specific processor and controller were developed like DSP and ASIC. Here the instruction set were more complex and powerful compared to the previous generation. Many processor came into market like Intel Pentium, Motorola 68K etc. These generation consist of real time systems as well as general purpose operating system. They find application in the field of robotics, media, industrial processing, control and networking etc. Now let us understand fourth generation. In this generation system on chip, reconfigurable processor and multi core processor for high performance. In this generation miniaturization of embedded system were done. These embedded system were making use of powerful operating system for functioning of the embedded system. Example of fourth generation is smartphone devices, mobile internet devices etc. So, in fourth generation system on chip reconfigurable processor and multi core processor were developed for high performance. In this generation miniaturization of embedded system were done which means a small sized embedded systems were developed and it also consists of powerful operating system. Example of this generations are smartphone devices and mobile internet devices etc. Now let us see the classification of embedded system based on complexity and performance. First one is a small scale embedded system. The small scale embedded system are designed for simple applications and they are designed for the application where the requirements are not time critical. Example of small scale embedded system are electronic toy where it requires simple application and time is not critical and these electronic toys are not time critical. Small scale embedded systems are designed using 8 or 16 bit microprocessor or controllers and this small scale embedded system may contain or may not contain operating systems for its operation. So, small scale embedded system are designed for simple application and where the application is not time critical. Example is electronic toy and small scale embedded systems are designed using 8 bit or 16 bit microprocessor or microcontroller. So, these small scale embedded system may or may not contain operating system for its operation or functionality. Now, let us understand medium scale embedded system. This medium scale embedded system are slightly complex in hardware and software compared to the small scale embedded systems. They are designed using 16 or 32 bit microprocessor or microcontroller and also they can design using DSP digital signal processor. Usually they consist of operating system for its operation. So, medium scale embedded systems are slightly complex in hardware and software compared to small scale embedded system. They are designed using low cost 16 bit or 32 bit microprocessor or microcontroller. They can also be designed using digital signal processor. They contain operating system for its operation. Now, let us understand large scale embedded system. Large scale embedded system consists of highly complex hardware and software. They are used for mission critical or time critical applications. These large scale embedded systems are designed using high performance 32 or 64 bit RISC microprocessor or microcontroller. Here RISC specifies reduced instruction set computing microprocessor or microcontroller. They can also be designed using recognizable system on chip or multi core processors. 
and also using programmable logic devices. These systems may also consist of multiple processors or controllers and co-hardware devices, decoding and encoding media, cryptographic function implementation and so on. So, here decoding and encoding cryptographic function are the example of large scale embedded system. It consists of high performance real time operating system for its operation. So, large scale embedded system consists of highly complex hardware and software compared to medium scale and small scale embedded system. These large scale embedded systems are used for mission critical application or time critical applications. They are designed using 32 bit or 64 bit RISC microprocessor or microcontroller. It consists of reconfigurable system on chip or multi core processor and also it consists of programmable logic design. These embedded system may consist of multiple processor or controllers and also they consist of co hardware for large scale applications. Example of large scale embedded systems are decoding and encoding systems, cryptographic function implementations etc. These large scale embedded system consist of high performance real time operating system for its operation. This is about classification of embedded systems. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.